embracing imperfections, redefining beauty, transforming how young girls view themselves. They're calling it the Pretty Girl Revolution, and it's a concept launched by two young entrepreneurs trying to inspire and reach out to students here in Baltimore and beyond through positive workshops. That's right, join us this morning, uh, Elizabeth uh, Piper and uh, Mary Janetti. Mm -hmm. I said that right, the uh, <laughs> co-founders of Pretty Girl Revolution. Cool organization. Thank you. So Thank you. what's the whole purpose for the little girls out there to know about this the great revolution out there? Well, basically, growing up, uh, high school and college especially, we learned that the world seems to give girls this limited definition of what a pretty girl is. And we said, that's a problem. We disagree with that. We think a uh, pretty girl should encompass so much more to really fit all the girls that we knew. Uh, so with our company, we're revolutionizing beauty, confidence, and worth. Uh, in our world. And, how, and how, how are you all doing that? How are you all teaching these young girls how to be pretty girls? This is not just an image campaign. This is beauty inside. Yes, it is. And we're asking girls to ask themselves very difficult questions. So we believe that there is an authentic, self-loving, confident, pretty girl that already exists within each and every single one of us. Um, and that's unique to each girl. And we're asking them to ask themselves, what does that pretty girl speak like? How does she carry herself? How does she show herself love each and every day? And then we're asking them to practice those until they become habits for these girls. Now, I'm kind of curious, how is this type of approach different from, you know, little girls who may be going through this image campaign inside and maybe, maybe want therapy or something like this? How is this different from therapy? That's a really good question. And we think that therapy and coaching and counseling all have the same mission of helping girls feel better. We've fallen in love with coaching because it's all about forward thinking, action planning, and really, really focusing on becoming the person that you ultimately want to become. So it's very much holding girls accountable and being like, what do you want? And we're going to help you get there. So, so I'm kind of curious, how do, they, how, how do you all like get to these young ladies? I mean, do they like come to you? Do you go to schools? How do you all form the groups? So we've really been reaching out to schools in Baltimore um, and providing like seminars and workshops to be able to present to girls about self-love, confidence and worth. And then through these seminars and workshops, we've kind of been able to like click with girls, bond with them. You know, some of our stories kind of click with things that they're going through and then they feel comfortable reaching out to us from there. Um, but I'm kind of curious when, when you're talking to girls who may be, I guess, a little shy, may have some mm -hmm. self-image issues. Is it kind of hard to get them to the, the, the seminars, to the program so you all can get to them? I mean, you've got the program, but can you get them to get there to drink it? I think that's a really good thing about us going to schools because then it's like part of a class or you know an assembly for 400 students and then they're already there and one of the things we really pride ourselves on is our age we're young we're not scary um, and girls feel really comfortable connecting with us clicking with us opening up to us because they see themselves in us um, we're young and we're open and we're warm and speaking of that you remember maybe the first young lady that you all helped in this uh, new program um Honestly, Loyola, Loyola University students, we both graduated from Loyola University, mm -hmm. and uh, we knew some of the girls there, and once they found out we were devoting our lives uh, to this career, they weren't surprised, but uh, so many of those girls we've bonded with over the years, and now they're like, hey, can you be my coach? Um, That's cool. Yeah. That's incredible. Very nice, very nice, and you two are very pretty young ladies. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Pretty Ricky, that's what they call me. To learn more about the Pretty Girl Revolution, you can head on over to our website, foxbaltimore.com slash morning.